531. Good morning and welcome to Hashtag Rise and Grind. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to seven, and the creator of what is going to be the number one most watched morning show in the world. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's up, everybody? <laughs> man, man, hold on. I got I got already I already got to drink a little water. Mm-hmm. Man, I am so glad to be back today here on hashtag rise and grind. I gotta tell you, man, the last couple days I have been under the weather. The last couple of days I got knocked on my rear end. It was crazy, man. I got knocked on my rear end, and very rarely do I get um, sick. It is very, very, very rare that I get sick. And regretfully, I got hit, I got knocked down, and it took me a while to recover. The good news is, my man, Josh, oh, he stepped in, he took the reins, he did the hard thing, which it's difficult, man, I'm here to tell you, it's hard. It is really hard to jump onto a Facebook Live and go, it's basically like a monologue for 30 minutes, my mom and I were talking about it yesterday, you gotta talk for 25, 30 minutes, and it's like talking to yourself Usually, for me, I'm in this utility room. I'm in a little closet. Even though you're with me, and I know you're with me, it's a difficult thing to, thing to do. So I'm really thankful for Josh O for stepping up and doing what he could and delivering some fire yesterday on short notice for me, my man Josh O. Thank you so much. I am so incredibly thankful for you. Today, I am thankful to be back here on the show. I am feeling much, much, much better than I was, and I'm very, very, very happy to be here. I'm really excited. Also, there was an interesting quote as I was doing my gratitude list and my goals this morning. There was a really interesting quote in the planner. For those of you that have your planners, make sure you're popping that open. You get, you're doing your gratitude list and your goals every single day. Make sure you're doing that. I know Clinton Becker was talking about how he's been doing his and the impact it's been having on him. But there was an interesting quote there today. It said, we are lovers and fighters, travelers and explorers. Men like us are not satisfied incarnating the ideas of others. And that was contributed by Mr. Frankie Sanders himself. And I thought, man, what an interesting quote. We are lovers and fighters, travelers and explorers. Men like us are not satisfied incarnating the ideas of others. And what that had me thinking about as I read that, it had me think about our uniqueness, right? Our uniqueness as, as human beings, how we're each individual and why it's so important that we each step into our individuality. And that's what we're going to talk about today. But first things first, before we do that, let's dance. Oh, I don't hear it. Hold on. Oh, I know why. I know why. How about now? Ah, there it is. There it is. This is the part of the show. Yes, sir. This is the part of the show where I need you to hit that share button. That's right. I need you to hit that share button because I believe if we can change the way people start their day, we can make a massive impact on this planet. I truly believe that. And sometimes all it takes is for you to hit that share button and we can change, completely change the way somebody starts their day. This is also the part of the show where I need you to say good morning to me and I'm going to say good morning to you. Whether you're watching on replay or watching live, I want you to say what's up. I want to say good morning to my man Casey Rossiter. I'm going to say good morning to Josh Wilson. How are you this morning? What's up, AJ Anderson? It was nice talking to you yesterday. My man Aaron Jones is up in here this morning. Chris Yancey's up in here this morning. Hello, Sandra Benstock. Delolio. Delolio. Hey, I got a bracelet from you. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Elizabeth Tincher, good morning. What's up, Jeff Baker? Melvin Rodriguez is up in the house. How you doing, Charlie McHale and Susan Rose? Whitney Wales is up in here. What's up, Leanne Ryan Smith? Robert Fuller? Stacy's up in here. You know, there's 104 people up in here, but I feel like there should be more. So go ahead and hit that share button. 
because I want to make a massive impact on people's lives today. And I got some fire that I'm getting ready to deliver. What's up, Janelle Griego, taking chart. Of course, Scott Simons, my man, Scott Simon. Scott, we were supposed to do a podcast yesterday, but I was sick. And so we postponed, but I'm excited to jump on with you because I want to learn some more from you. So what's up, Amber Reeves? Don Sankey's up in here. Keith McKenzie. Anthony Santangelo is up in the house. Hello, Jonathan Marshall and Lisa Velasquez. There we go. Everybody's starting to get up in here this morning. Now we're talking. Y'all feeling it? Y'all feeling it? Mm, there we go. I'm feeling it. Man, we got some fire today. I'm going to deliver a message today. I hope you guys are ready today. I don't know if you're ready, but I hope you guys are ready. You ready now? Ready now? Everybody dancing? If I dance it, all right, cool. All right, cool. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta say hi to K. Michelle Lewis first. Hey, what's up, Jesse Miller? I gotta say hi to Lindsay. I. There was a couple people I left out. I wanted to make sure not to leave them out. All right, cool. All right, cool. Oh man, that feels good. That feels good. Feels good to get some dancing on. Feels good to get the energy back up in here. I apologize. I apologize for being out. For being out. I've just been like completely out the last two days, my social media, all that good stuff, including the show, but it's really incredible to be back. Listen, I have a friend. I want you guys to get to know this guy. I got a friend named R.C. Hazard. Now, R.C. Hazard is one of the most unique individuals I've ever met in my entire life. And if you've ever met R.C. Hazard, I promise you have not forgotten the moment that you met R.C. Hazard. He's just an incredibly memorable human being. Not only is he a black cowboy, right? Not only is R.C. a black cowboy, which is always uh, a, a little different and a little unique, okay? But not only is he a black cowboy, but he also served in our military for a little while, which I appreciate Mr. R.C. Hazard serving in our military. He also, at one point in time, with this guy was on Let's Make a Deal. This is R.C. Hazard on Let's Make a Deal with Wayne Brady. That's him smiling ear to ear with Mr. Wayne Brady. Now, how we typically see him in the auto industry is we typically see him like this. We typically see him suited up. He's always in a really nice suit. He dresses really well. He's always got a little uh, little pocket pocket kerchief. Right. He's always got a little pocket kerchief up in there and he's always he's always got these really incredible shoes, which I don't think in this picture we can see his shoes right now. Oh, there you go. You can you can maybe see it. Maybe we can zoom in on those. Can we zoom in on them shoes? But the boys always dressed to the nines. Right. So here's the thing about Mr. R.C. Hazard. He's just incredibly unique, right? When you blend all those things, military, and he's a cowboy. He also, at one point, he was a country singer. He actually sang country music, and he, you know, he was on Let's Make a Deal, and he wears a suit, and he, right now he works for a company called uh, U.S. Warranty, and he comes through, and he, he helps out dealerships all around, uh, uh, all around America, all around the world. Um, well, I should say he travels all around the world and he helps out dealerships all around America. But when he walks in, it just, he just lights up the room instantly. Instantly, as soon as he walks in, it lights up. And if you follow him on social media, you'll see that he's always traveling. He's always going to concerts. He's going to waterfall places. He loves nature. He loves hiking. He loves doing all of these different things. But here's what I love most about R.C. Hazard. Is R.C. Hazard is always 100% R.C. Hazard. He never, ever, ever, ever hides any, any, any of it. The type of person he is, the, the, he's got like this just flamboyant personality. He's not shy in any way, shape, or form. And he's one of the most caring, most sensitive, most like he's always getting, getting uh, gifts. He's the guy that brought me the big sign when we had the Rise and Grind event. He made this huge, massive 50-foot sign that we hung on the side of the walls. He's always delivering gifts. He's just an incredible human being. And what makes him so incredible is that he constantly embraces his individuality. You see, men and women like R.C. Hazard, men and women that truly change the world, they always stand out in a crowd. Always. They always stand out in a crowd. 
I mean, if you look, you can look back through history. You see people like Albert Einstein, right? Like Albert Einstein stood out in a crowd. He was, he was a very unique individual. He didn't listen to what anybody else had to say or what anybody else believed. His, his hair was kind of crazy, and that wasn't normally how people kept their hair. And he, he, he just did things completely differently, right? He stood out in a crowd. Of course you have, you know, and, and, and of course you had Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, who definitely stood out in the crowd. He was definitely an individual. He was definitely a person who embraced his individuality and whether he had some things off, off the records or, or not, and we won't get into all of that. But as far as music, he completely changed and revolutionized the music industry because he did things completely different than anybody else, right? He embraced his individuality. He didn't just follow the lead. He did his own thing. Then there's this guy named Muhammad Ali. You guys all know this guy has changed and impacted the world in such an incredible and incredible way. And he did it in, in, a, in a way no one would have ever imagined. He took this skill, this love that he had for boxing, and he embraced it, and he did it passionately, and he gave people some beatdowns, and he did it in just an incredible, an incredible way. And he was always talking about float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, and he was a poet, and he always did his poems and he did his thing and he was flamboyant about it and he embraced his individuality and ultimately became a man who impacted the planet he impacted the whole world there's another guy named Jesus Christ. I know you guys have heard of him. His book's been the number one bestseller for the last 2000 years. This was a human being that embraced his individuality. He stood up for what he believed in. He said who he was. He didn't care what other people thought, what other people's opinions were. He didn't allow the outside world to mold, to shape, to guide him. He stepped into his individuality and he stood out in a crowd. No matter how risky it was, no matter how scary it was, Jesus is a name that we all know today because he embraced his individuality. And yet we tend to do this all of the time, which may, upsets me, but we tend to look at our differences as flaws. We as human beings in today's day and age, we tend to look at our differences as flaws and we find ourselves trying to blend in right you try you're trying to you're 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 trying to blend in at work right i know a lot of people um and i come from the auto industry so i refer to the auto industry but i just i i remember i i i, I would see these guys come in and they're on fire and they're on a mission they're on passion and they're going to sell so many cars and they're going to do this and and we always say a new we always say in the auto industry we say a new penny always shines cuz guys come in and they come in fierce and they're hammering it and they're hitting it and they're selling all these cars and then i see them start to blend in they start to want to blend in with all the other guys they want to get along with the other guys they don't want to stand out they want everybody to like them right and next thing you know they just start to blend in and they become an average salesperson Blending in is going, uh, that's all that blending in does. It creates average. And so if you're seeking average, then I highly suggest that you blend in. But if you're seeking greatness, I suggest that you embrace your individuality and stand out in a crowd. I need you to stand out in a crowd. In order for you to truly become the best version of yourself, I need you to understand something. That you are not a chameleon. You are not a chameleon. You are not just this human being who's supposed to blend and look like and sound like everyone else. No, you are a child of God uniquely made. I need you to step into your greatness today. I'm going to give you three ways that you can do that. <coughs> Excuse me, just a second. I'm going to give you three ways that you can do this, okay? I think it's really, really, really important. Make sure if you haven't done so already, hit that share button because this is really valuable stuff, okay? I need you to stand out in a crowd. And there's three things you must do in order to do that, okay? Three things. First thing, I need you to shed. I need you to shed your thick outer layer of protection. I need you to shed your thick outer layer of protection because, see, you have this outer layer, right? 
You've got this outer layer of protection. You're not really letting everyone inside. You're not letting them see the, the, the most pure version of you, right? You've got this thick outer layer. layer. You're kind of keeping a little bit of a gap between me and you. You're keeping some distance. And see, that gap that you're keeping between me and you, that's keeping you from your greatness. That gap that you're keeping between me and you, it's keeping me from really getting to, to trust you and to 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 want to follow you. See, if you want to be a leader, you've totally got to get rid of this. See, you guys like me. You guys trust me. You guys watch my show. You guys are with me here at 530 in the morning. You guys are getting up and not hitting the snooze button. You guys are doing your gratitude. You're doing your goals. You guys are following me because I'm real and I'm raw and I'm human right I mean golly I get sick I get knocked down I posted it like bro I'm sick I'm knocked down I'm not a superhero I'm not Goggins right I posted that I posted that because I'm real and I'm raw because I'm not trying to be someone that I'm not because I'm not going to sit here and try to put up some kind of front right? I don't want there to be a layer between you and I. I want to get real. I want to get raw. I want you to trust me. I want you to, I want you to spend time with me. I want you to follow me. I feel like I can lead you to good things. I feel like I can make your life better. I feel like God put me here to connect with you directly on a one-on-one level so that we can make, we can extract greatness out of many, as many people as possible. I feel like I'm here to help people rise, evolve, and make an impact on this planet. And I can't do that if I have a layer between me and you. I can't do that if you don't trust me wholeheartedly. I can't do that if I don't embrace my individuality of who I am. And that's what I need you to do if you truly want to lead. You want to be an incredible leader who makes an impact on this planet. I need you to shed. I need you to shed that thick layer of protection. I got You got to let people inside. And some people are going to like you. And some people are not are, are going to not like you. And that's okay. There's a guy, I'm telling you, right here, made, a, made the most massive impact on the planet. He understands that some people were going to like him and some people were not going to like him and he understood that it was risky and I can understand that it's scary and I can understand that you could be fearful of these things but I'm here to tell you when you break down and get rid of that layer that thick layer that's when you can step into your greatness that's when you can step into your greatness so that's number one that's number one second thing second thing that I need you to do Second thing, I want you to understand something, okay, before I go into this. I want you to understand, God, God it, it talks about it all the time, but God always knows the end before he ever starts, okay? He always knows the end result. He already, he, he already knows what, what it looks like in the end before he ever begins, which is a great business strategy. By the way, if you, can, if you can look at a project, what is the end result? What are you trying to do? And then reverse engineer, put everything in place to get that end result. It's an incredible business strategy, but... The reason I bring that up is because the second thing I need you to understand, if you truly want to stop being a chameleon, step into your greatness and embrace your individuality, I need you to understand that you are exactly who you need to be. You are exactly who you need to be. There is no circumstance too tough. There is no age too high there is no level of education that matters there is no financial situation everything that you need to win every everything that you need to win is already in you it's already in you it's in you in here in your in your heart it's in you in here in your mind everything that you need to win is already it's already it's already there it's already there. The situation that you're in, the surroundings that you're that you're in, the the um the the different things that you're having to deal with, the struggles that you have, all of those things, they're they're by design. I need you to understand this. They are by design. You are exactly who you need to be. The way that you look is exactly the way that you are supposed to look. The situation that you're in is exactly the situation you are supposed to be in. All of this is by design. And when you begin to embrace and understand that 
when you quit looking around at others and what they have and what you don't have when you continue to when you stop looking around at others and how they look versus how you look when you stop looking around at others wanting to be more like them and instead understanding that you only have to be more like you and embrace your individuality embrace your uniqueness embrace your environment and your situation that's when you can truly step into the greatness that's when you can become the best version of you that you can possibly be i am living proof my friends listen listen to the words that i am telling you this morning you know where i came from you know what i've been through and i've used those struggles i've embraced my individuality of who i am i now share it with all of you guys every single day and it's created this it's created this freedom it's created this environment where my family now i spend more time with them i'm stepping more into me we've got planners that are impacting the world we've got the 2019 goalkeeper course coming up which is making an impact in people's lives we've got this incredible show which is making an impact in people's lives i am now standing out in the crowd i'm standing out in the crowd i don't have the highest level of education I didn't have the, the, the greatest financial means. I'm not the best looking human being on the face of the planet. But I'm uniquely made to be the absolute best version of me that I can possibly be. And the more you step into that, quit worrying about everyone else. The more you step into that, that's how you're going to reach into your greatness. Listen, third thing. I love this heater that my wife gave me in here, but I can tell, I can tell when things start warming up. When things start warming up here in, here in hashtag rise and grind land, I start sweating up in here. Listen, number three. All right, Mike, I don't know if Brockway's been taking notes. I hope he has. First, we have to shed that thick outer layer, right? Second, we have to understand um, that you are exactly who you need to be already. You're exactly who you need to be right here, right now. Third thing, you have to push yourself. You must push yourself in order to find your limits. See, in order for you to discover who you really are, you have to push yourself. It takes tests, it takes trials, it takes tribulations. See, we can't sit here and say, I can't, or I don't like, or I've never done that before. I need you to start pushing yourself. You have, to, you have to get out of your comfort zone. You have to push yourself and do the things that you wouldn't normally do or maybe even the things that you don't know whether or not you like to do. Because see, what we tend to do is we tend to shrink in, right? We shrink in. We go, oh, no, that looks scary. I don't think I'm going to do that. Or we go, oh, no, I've never really done that before. I don't think I would be good at that. I don't want to embarrass myself. I don't want to look stupid in front of other people, so I'm not going to do that. Oh, no, I don't think, no, that guy's way smarter than me. He he could do that, but I couldn't do that. Oh, no, that girl right there, she's just, her personality is a lot different. I mean, it looks like that would be something that would be fun, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. That's, that's just not me. I need you to stop. I need you to start pushing yourself. You have to push yourself outside of your comfort zones. I was on the phone with somebody yesterday. He's a top performing um, salesperson in the auto industry. He told me what kind of numbers he was running, you know, for, for the year. And I told him, I'm like, bro, you're, 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 yeah, you're the top performer in that store, but you're only running at 60%. There's 40, you still got, you, you still got, you still got so much more left in the tank. There's so much more that you can do. But see, he's, he's, he's kind of settled in. But yet, while he's settled in and while he's a top performer in his particular store, he's not living the life that he wants to live because he isn't truly stepping into his greatness. He's comparing himself to those around him, not comparing himself to what he's capable of. And so I need you today to start pushing your limits. I need you to start getting uncomfortable. I need you to start trying things that you never tried before. I want you to do things that you've never done before. Because just because you've never done it doesn't mean it's not meant for you. Just because you've never tried it doesn't mean that it's not part of this design, this overall plan for you to step into your greatness. You are not a chameleon. You are not designed to blend in. You are designed to stand out. And the only way that you can stand out is you've got to shed your skin, shed that defensive layer. 
You got to shed it. You have to understand that you are exactly who you need to be right now in this moment, in this time. You are exactly that person. And I need you to go out there, push yourself, expand your limits, expand your capabilities, expand what you're able to do. And you're going to find out. You're going to find out. Here's what you're going to find out when you do all that. You're going to find out that you are an amazing child of God, uniquely made by the God of the universe, the God who made like everything, made you uniquely and specifically by design to be the absolute best version of yourself that you can possibly be. And you're already starting to make some good decisions. You're popping in here and hashtag rise and grind. You're in the group. You're making these comments. You're starting to do your gratitude list, your goals. If you don't have your planner already, make sure you go get one today, right now. You're doing things like that. You're joining uh, the goalkeeper. You're jumping in with me and Eric Thomas to spend the first eight weeks uh, becoming this, 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 this incredible version of yourself. If you haven't done that yet, you can go to glennlundy.com. You can sign up for that. Or if you need more videos, go to glennlundy.com. But anyways, you're starting to make these good decisions already. And these decisions, these, these, these seemingly minor little things, I want you to understand something, that they're starting to really make an impact. It's starting to make an impact on, on your friends. It's making an impact on your family members. It's making an impact on your coworkers. And it's making an impact on me. It's absolutely making an impact on me. And I, for one... I absolutely love you for it. I do. If nobody's told you that yet this morning, I want to be the first. I stinking love you. You guys are incredible. I am so thankful to be back here with you today. So I want you to go out there. Quit being a chameleon. It's time for you to stand out. I don't want you to be average. You were not designed to be average. You were designed to be the absolute best version of yourself that you can possibly be. If you need help with that, I'm, I know I keep pushing this and I'm going to push it for two more days because we still have the signups. If you need help with that, come join me. Come join me for the next eight weeks. We set it up where you can do payment plans if you want. You can pay it all at once if you want. But I want you to come join me because I am going to be working with you individually. I'm going to be working with you. We're going to be doing live calls. You're going to have direct access. We're going to have we're going to have Eric Thomas who's kind of mentored me as well. We're going to have there in the background to help also. But I really want to extract greatness out of you. I want to extract the absolute best version of you that you can possibly be. And we can do that together. It's rise evolve impact together. We can do that. So please join the group 2019goalkeeper.com or you can get there from my website glennlundy.com. And I'm telling you I'll quit pushing on Friday once, you know, Thursday's the first class registrar registration stops Friday and I'll quit pushing then. But I just really want you to not miss out on this opportunity to 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 evolve together into the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. Anyways, I love you guys. I'm going to get out of here. You guys have an incredible day today. Have an absolutely fantastic, over-the-top, phenomenal day today. And I'll see you again tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m. on hashtag Rise and Grind. <laughs>